So today we are going to be talking about assets restriction and also assets denied pay. We are going to be talking about roles and um, authorities. So I'm going to restrict assets to a page based on a role. So if I go to the application now, um, I log in and go to security. We have security home to users. Now if I click on manage, everybody have access to this page. That is not um, the way it should be. We need to restrict access to this page so that maybe super admin or admin. Later I'm going to be talking about access uh, authorization matrix later on and privileges later on, which are subsites of roles and authorities. But for now, let's restrict our assets to a page based on the roles. For now, just assume that role and authority is the same. So let's do the step-by-step -step right here. Um, yeah, so, so the, first thing I, the first thing we are going to do is to add the ant matches. Uh, so you are going to say, for one to have access to a particular page, he need to be a, have a particular role. So, for instance, the access restriction is based on the URL, not based on the page. So, for instance, we can say that for anybody to access this URL that has edit, uh, for anybody to be able to edit, he should have an admin, right? So, we should say this URL slash security slash user slash update for anybody to go there he should have an admin right so if i go to the application security config you can add that uh, restriction here so you can add dot and matches um dot and matches and specify the url mapping so it's going to be security slash user slash edit slash star star and dot has authority. Now there's a little bit of difference. You're gonna use has authority, not has roles. I'm gonna explain it a little later, but for now, has authority is what you're gonna use. So if I do it this way, we'll not be able to access the, the, the page, the edit user page. We can access the list of user, but we'll not be able to edit it. So let's run. Again, remember to subscribe if you are joining for the first time. If you have challenges, leave me a comment below. And uh, you can also go to start from the beginning if you are just uh, joining me today. All right, so if I go back to security, go back to home, so I'm logging in and go to users, that is fine. Manage users, I don't have access. Now, remember that I'm an admin, right? I gave myself the admin role, but yet I don't have access because Spring Security does not yet know about the list of roles in our database. We need to tell Spring Security that we have list of roles in the database. So for now, we have coded a single authority in the, there's a file that contains this, that should be inside here, we have this user principle. Remember this file, we talked about this file during, when we were talking about Spring Security, so in the collection of granted authorities, we have coded a single user authority here. So uh, in that case, everybody is a user, <laughs> even me when uh, I'm, I'm a user as well, because this have coded user, of, uh, user authority here is what uh, everybody gets. But for now, we are now going to tell Spring Security to use the list of roles in our database instead of using this hard coded list and I'm going to copy and paste. So we are simply going to fetch uh, from the, uh, the, the roles of the user and simply add it to an array list of authorities. So I'm going to simply paste it right here. And that is, so I'm going to just delete this, okay. So I think it's quite intuitive. We are going to create an empty array list and then we are going to save for each of the user roles, which is user.getRoles, we populate the authorities array list we created and then return it. So in this case, Spring Security is going to now use the roles we have in our database uh, instead of this hard coded one. So in this case now, when I try to assess, I'll be able to assess. But if somebody else tries to assess it, he will not be able to assess it. So let's, let's just try to see that it works. Then we now talk about access restricted page. So if I go back, uh, logging and I try to assess, I'm able to assess it. But let's go back to users list. For instance, this Andorma here is an admin, so he should be able to ask, he should be able to assess what of Jaden. Jaden is a user now. 
So let me log in with Jadon and see if I can access this page. So I'm going to go to first, I'm going to uh, log out from here and I'm going to log in with Jadon. Jadon, it's going to be the same password and I'm logging in and I'm going to security, security home users and I try to manage, he doesn't have access because he's not an admin. Now you can use, uh, let's now uh, create an access denied page, some page that looks, that makes sense. You don't want your user to be seeing this kind of page here. But before I create that page, let me tell you about has authorities and has any authority. So someone may have more than one, um, may actually have more than one uh, authorities or roles. So now let's take the two of them to be the same thing. So let me log in. And you want to tell Spring Security that you don't want to list all the um, all the user's authority in the in the in the web configurer file. So let's let me just say, explain to you what I'm saying. So here we have manage. Now, if you want to say that if a user has any authority among this list, so you can have admin, you can have help us admin, report admin, if a user has any authority, then in that case, you want to use has any. So if I go back to the file, so let me just show you. So in this case, instead of having here uh, has authority, it can increase, you can say has, has any authority. And in this case, you can now specify, let me just shift this, more than one authority here, for instance, hey, char, Admin. So in this case, once the uh, once Spring Security finds that this user role he has any of them, he's going to he's going to allow access. Okay, so let's talk about uh, access denied page. So let's create an access denied page. Again, this text is in my website. Uh, yeah. So uh, I'm going to create a page uh, here. Uh, it should be in inside the template folder. Uh, yeah, so right click new is going to be a HTML page. I'm going to call it access, access uh, denied. Okay, and let's say I'm going to call it the title is going to be access denied. Now you can design this page anyhow you like, but uh, for me, I think I will just go to maybe Bootstrap and find some design drives. All right, so you can you can design this page anyhow you like it. Uh, that should be fine. Okay, so now when access is denied, we want this page to load up, and to do that, we are going to uh, modify our web security configurer. So we are going to modify our web security configurer and add this line. Uh, I can just add it towards the end. So let me just take out this and now say dot and and dot exception handling dot assets denied page is going to be slash assets denied. Okay, so we have assets denied, uh, assets denied here. But this has to be a route, right? So it's not just a page of a route. So I'm going to, uh, here I'm going to security controller. And I'm simply create, I'll simply create a route that loads up this page. So let me just quickly do this. So let me copy this and paste. Copy this, um, paste and call it access the night. And it's going to simply return asset denied. Okay. Uh, assets denied. Okay. Okay, so this uh, route is going to return the asset denied page. So let's try it out and see what we have. So first, let me stop and run and let's try to log in with a user that is not an admin. And let's just, let us see um that it shows the assets in my page so let's go back to let's close all the bootstrap thing here and i'm going to spring security log in with my account and go to users and this works perfectly well now i'm going to log out now i'm going to log out and log in with somebody else let's say jaydon and the password is to log in 
go to security, security home, go to users, and try to click manage role. So we have our simple assets and night page coming out here, but you can design this page anyhow you want on these assets and night page. Now we've completed this part. The next part we are going to be talking about privileges, and we are also going to be talking about assets based restriction. Privileges we now talk about read and write, okay? That's what we are going to be talking about in the next class. So I want to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. If you have any challenges, please leave me a comment in the comment box below. Before I go, let me just uh, tell you something because if you look at my website, you see that I use has a role, but I later told you that what you actually should use is has authority right here. In Spring Security, both of them are the same. However, roles have the prefix role. So if you name the role in your database, you save it as role underscore admin, then has role is going to work. But if you don't give any prefix like role underscore, then it means that you have to simply use authority. But when you are saving your role to the database, you name the role role underscore HR admin, role underscore user, role underscore super admin, then you can use has roles. Outside that, simply use has authority. All right, so uh, so if you have challenges, leave me a comment. Um, there's another video as well, so check out what is clear to you. I think this should be fine. And the next part, just like my friend show Imamov recommended, I have to do, uh, do something about permissions and privileges and um, identity and access management. That's what we are going to be doing next. So we see in the next class, I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.